going on, everybody? It's the man of the hour, CDB, Colt the Vault. We're playing our first game of with the Los Angeles Lakers. As you saw, I got traded. It's actually kind of funny. We won the NBA Finals. We got the ring ceremony. And the day afterwards, we requested a trade for the Los Angeles Lakers. I figured, you know, why not? It's like a change of scenery. It, you guys do seem that seem to complain that a lot of YouTubers have, you know, my career is like on the New York Knicks, like Chris Smoove, iPod, King Carter, and others that I, but I'm just naming, I'm sure there's many others, but I just name people that I watch, I show respect for, I, I like respect, you know, what they do on YouTube there, really, really successful. So I said, you know what, let me decide to do something different, so... I decided, you know, why not choose the Lakers? I mean, looks like Kobe's retired. Alright, so. everyone relax. Run your sets, attack the rim, crash the boards on both ends, and we'll be fine. Come on now, let's get after it. Kobe's retired, so I'm like, you know what? Why don't I take, you know, the stardom rank? Why don't I show how great Los Angeles Lakers are? And look, I get the, I get the foul. Look. Hey, on one second. Nah, nah, it's all good, play. I just make him pay at the line. I got this. That was completely unexpected. I did not expect that right there. I've never seen that before in my career. But, you know, I get that slam dunk, guys. I get that steal. I slam it down with one hand, cocking it way back. A tomahawk slam. This team is very fun to play. I honestly think I should have trade from the New York Knicks earlier because this team is so fun I feel like I should have you know been on this team since free agency the first time I honestly feel like because this team is so fun to play with like it's honestly unbelievable and it just feels that we can do work and also another reason why I decided to go to the Lakers is because well you know they are like one and four in the se season. I'm like, they're one and four. I'm like, you know what? I think they need another star because Kobe's retired. They need someone to bring back the ranks, show how Lakers are the one is the most successful franchise in NBA history with the most championships ever in a season with all the greats that ever played in a Lakers uniform. You know, the great Lakers that ever played in a uh, Lakers uniform. You got Magic Johnson. You got Kobe. You got Shaquille O'Neal. You got James Worthy, who's a Hall of Famer. You got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who holds the highest scoring points in an NBA uniform. And I know I'm forgetting other people, but we got a cutscene right here. Well, what a great job you did, both moving the ball and passing it and scoring it. What has been the key for you to this point? Uh, I mean, I've just been trying to take what the defense gives me, really. I know I can't just try and go right at them every time, but if they give me a look, I'll shoot it. Otherwise, I'm just trying to keep the ball moving. Good luck with that, young man. Kevin, a young talent looking to do whatever it takes to make it in the NBA. Thank you. Yo, I just can't wait till we play against like the New York Knicks, especially when we play in Madison Square Garden. How interesting would that be? That's a YouTube video. That is commentary worthy, even though most games are commentary worthy. I'm just saying that because imagine me going against my old team, going up against Doc Rivers, going up against Carmel Anthony, going up against Wesley Matthews, going up against Tim Hardaway Jr. from Michigan, going up against Bargiani. Going up against Kendall Marshall, who was my mentor while I was on the New York Knicks. Now, as I'm on the Lakers, it's Ed Davis, as you saw in the cutscenes previously. So, it should be interesting. This should be a very interesting season. And, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait. What? Cutscene lie? I can't wait to get my own shoe deal. I can't wait to bust it out in a Lakers uniform at the Staples Center. It should be good. It should be fun. Okay. Speaking of cutscenes, where is Jackson Ellis? Where's Jackson Ellis? Cause the last time I pl 
I've seen Jackson House ever in my, in this game was like episode four, episode four of this my career series. We're on episode like seventy. Where is he? I got a magazine cover like when we we're in the NBA playoffs. I believe it was the conference finals or NBA finals. Even sit on the cover. Where is Jackson Ellis? Where is he? I want that cutscene. I want that shoe deal. I feel like I'm this. I'm so. I feel like I deserve it. I want Jackson Ellis, even though he's just gonna be, yeah, annoying like he was in 2K14. That's Jim where it's like the rival saying how it's like a stupid game. He's gonna have to bust out more moves. He has to try hard in that game. You know how he was like talking trash. He was like making up excuses. And then at the end of the micro, when you got to the Hall of Fame, he admitted that you're the better player. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. But yeah, where is Jackson Ellis? Where's my agent? The You guys saw the last time I had my agent was just like a weird, like, a cutscene that should not even happen. It was a cutscene for me saying what teams I want to be as a free agent. A free agent. When I just did that last season and I signed with the New York Knicks. And then, then that season later after winning the championship, we're talking about free agency? Free agency? Of course I'd stay with the Knicks because I wanted that ring ceremony cutscene. I'm like, you know what? I'm done with the Knicks. I want a new change of scenery. I want to go to show. I want to go to the Showtime Lakers as we dominate this game against the Memphis Grizzlies. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, folks, peace. A young fella starting to grow up. Back off. I'm a Maybe grown physically. man. But emotionally, I was starting to wonder. Until tonight, you showed some sense by chilling after he took you out on that shot. We need you. Can't afford to get tossed because somebody fouled you a little harder than you like. What can I say? I'm a Zen master. Oh, for Ice King. I barely got a pulse. Not sure about that, but you did good, man. You did good. For sure. Okay, Jones, you're up. Looking at the stat sheet, you took an awful lot of threes tonight. Any particular reason for that? Well, they were giving me open looks, and I took them, plain and simple. There's no need to look into it any deeper than that. Mm-hmm. Let's go all the way into the back, Mr. Bishop. Why couldn't the defense find a way to stop you tonight? 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Katrina. Hurricane Hugo. All the tornadoes in the Midwest. Remember that tsunami back in 06? Yeah, man. I'm a freaking force of nature on the offensive end. I get buckets. Uh, you, sir. Now, obviously, this is your first outing with the team. Did you feel you were frozen out at all by your new teammates? Why the heck would I be frozen out? Well, you, know, you do have a reputation for being a real chemistry killer. Asking for a new team whenever it suits you. Comment? Hey, man. Why are you trying to bring rain on this beautiful day we have? I'm <laughs> not trying to rain on anything, man. But you do seem to have a cloud following you here. You name one teammate that doesn't want me out there. Look, I'm not saying I know any specifics. I'm just trying... You don't know anything! You don't know what you're talking about. You're just trying to create some controversy. Trying to generate some headlines. Well, you know what? I'm not about to help you get any more followers or any more clicks. Go ahead and write that down. Try to play somebody else for the fool. So tired of y'all. All right, thanks, everybody. Look, we are going to have a problem if you fly off the handle with the media at the smallest provocation. Look here, I'm here to ball, not to cater to these media no, dudes. No, those media dudes craft the narratives that help sell this organization's brand, a brand that I'm responsible for guarding. I don't care about no brand. Really? You don't care? No. How about jersey sales? Care about those? Maybe. Really? Well, play the game correctly, and your jersey sales will soar. See how that works? We understand each other? I understand what you're saying.